Hello and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial and today we're gonna go over Blender soft bodies. Now before we get started a little bit of a self-promotion here you can always go to form.nistic.com uh, for any help if you have any questions or just to show off your renders. Uh, I really don't have time if you message me for support so just go ahead and go to form .nistic.com. Also, I'm releasing a Blender DVD, which I'm uh, working on right now. It's on making a character in Blender. It's 20 bucks, and it's uh, way. It's going to be way better than these tutorials here. So, if you're interested, just send me a YouTube message or a Nistic message, just letting me know you're interested. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I have a copy of Blender open here, so I'm going to open it up, and we have our default cube. So, what we are going to do, we don't need our default cube, so we're going to hit X, Erase Selected Object, Space, Add, Mesh, sorry I'm going a little fast here, but we have a lot to cover, and we're going to go to Plane. And so after we go to Plane, we're going to hit S and hit 3. Make it about 3 times bigger than it was originally. Hit enter. And we need a subdivide. So W uh, subdivide multi mm, 4 times. No, not enough. So subdivide again with W subdivide. That seems just about right. So after we've done that, we are going to go down here to the toolbar hit new and this is a called a vertex group basically all the vertices that are selected up here make sure they're selected um, will be basically grouped uh, so we can do stuff with it make sure the weight is set to zero you can move the slider to get it to zero and hit assign I'm just whacking it a couple times because I feel like it so then we're gonna hit tab and we're gonna go over here to object mode weight paint and we're gonna change these options change it till it says one just click that button there and then opacity should be one so we have a little make our brush size a little bit smaller basically uh, this weight paint you can add some weight to a object so just click the brush on the top of the plane here it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of make a line on both edges. So it should turn red, like so. So after we're done to weight, with weight paint, we just go back to object mode. We go to the object button, then we go to the physics button, and then we hit the soft body button under the soft body tab. And in there, we cl it says use goal. We want to click that little thing right there and hit group. And as you remember before, we created a vertex group with all those vertices and we assigned them to those group that group. So now under soft bodies, we are using uh, that group, that selection, and telling Blender that we want to use that as a soft body. So now that we got that done, let's... Uh, click alt left mouse button kind of rotate so we can see everything here and then hit alt a and you can see it's kind of a cloth like kind of uh spring in bouncy and you can you actually have to play with these settings to get uh different cloth types that you might want like if you wanted something uh more like watery or you wanted it to be really s a stiff kind of uh, cloth or soft body um, you can all you can just play with these feet these little things right here friction mass gravity speed uh, stiffness uh, you can do all types of things with just playing with that so after this tutorial I suggest that you would play with those options so as you can see here it's just looping but we want to make it 
look a little bit better so I'm just gonna hit escape here go down here and uh, set smooth so it looks a little bit smoother and then we go back up here hit alt A looks a little better hit spacebar to stop it at a, a good point go down here to view camera you can see kind of the curvature of the cloth and let's just add a little uh, material to this so you see how that works out so I'll just make it a red cloth kind of looking thing and to make it look a little less like plastic I'm gonna turn down the uh, reflection here or turn up the reflection a bit and turn down the specularity and turn up the hardness a bit so it looks a little bit more kind of like a bright kind of cloth here but a little less like plastic um so we're gonna render here and kind of looks a little cloth like here so you can see the curvature of the cloth and a good idea to use soft bodies mainly for uh, cloths and clothes but uh, you can and sheets and things like that because I mean I did a render where I put a object under here and I set it as a deflection you, so you can put an object under there and just click deflection and it will basically the soft body will wrap itself around it so I was able to make a bed sheet instead of modeling it and making it perfect I was say, able to in one minute uh, make a soft body make that a deflection hit uh, alt a so it just kinda dropped on there and then got that mesh textured it and it looked exactly like a bed sheet so that worked real well so I hope you learned a little bit how to use uh, soft bodies here and so I'll give you a little time to uh, go play with these little features down here uh, see what type of soft bodies uh, you can get you can make it real stiff like a rubber band or just soft like a cloth so uh, have fun with that and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions go to form.nistic.com I'll see you guys in the next tutorial so bye bye